Asus beloved flagship line, the Zenfone, is back for its third edition with a sleek, premium-looking Zenfone 3. The phone was first announced in Taipei last month, and in just a few weeks from now, the Asus Zenfone 3 will be officially released here in the Philippines. We've got our hands on two Zenfone 3 models, the premium ZE552KL with a beefier 4GB of RAM and the ZE550KL with 3GB. We're taking an intimate look on both devices in just a bit. My name is Armand from ManilaShaker.com and welcome to our unboxing of the Asus Zenfone 3. Opening both boxes is a fairly common experience. The units make the first appearance lustrous in their deep, inky, sapphire black color. Deeper into the box are some staple hardware, including a 2.0A wall charger, a pair of stereo earphones, and a Type-C USB data cable. There isn't much difference between the two models, save for some areas including the screen size, RAM, and battery. The bigger model features a 5.5-inch Full HD Super IPS LCD panel. Still not over why Asus didn't go with an OLED on this one, while the other model features the same but smaller 5.2-inch screen. Both phones house a 1080p resolution display with Gorilla Glass 3 proofing. Some welcome additions in terms of hardware on the Zenfone 3 are the beveled glass panels on the front and back which are rimmed with a sturdy plastic frame, Asus feature proofing reversible USB Type-C port, and a 3.5mm audio jack nestled nicely atop the device. Staying for another season are the non-backlit capacitive keys on the device's chin. Up on the device's forehead, meanwhile, are the LED notification light, earpiece, and an 8-megapixel front-facing camera. Both models include a hybrid card slot, which is ideal for either the constant traveler or the memory hungry, having the option of filling up the slot with either a second SIM card or a micro SD card to expand the phone's storage. The rear of the phone houses the fingerprint sensor, which is impressively speedy and accurate. It's positioned quite nicely, sitting directly below the 16 megapixel f2.0 main shooter, which is equipped with laser focus assistance and dual LED flash. Our initial reaction to Zenfone 3's photographing capabilities is mostly positive, with the new phone performing noticeably better than its predecessor, the Zenfone 2. There's a great color reproduction here, and Zenfone 3's rear-facing camera handles detail quite well in both daylight and low-light situations. Of course, we'll be doing a more in-depth look at the shooter on our full review. Both models are powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 octa-core chipset, which is plenty enough for the common user. The bigger model boasts 4GB of RAM with 64GB of onboard storage, while the smaller model is not too far behind with 3GB of RAM with 32GB of onboard storage. Benchmark tests show average results. The Zenfone 3 got an average score on the Anti-2 benchmark test we performed, while the actual gaming is quite promising actually. We played NBA 2K16 in high graphic settings, and not once did we encounter hiccups or lags. Powering up this performance is the 3000 mAh non-removable battery, which is enough juice to last the common user a day. So far, the battery life bodes well, but we'll reserve our final verdict on our full review. Audio handling looks to be, well, okay. An FM radio and high bitrate support are present, while the audio blasts out of the shy mono speaker located at the very bottom of the device. Prices for both phones are as yet unofficial but we're thinking somewhere around 12,000 to 13,000 pesos for the lower end model and 15,000 to 18,000 pesos for the higher end one. Overall, the Zenfone 3 looks to be a promising device and proves to be an attractive option for its competitive price point. This concludes our unboxing of the Asus Zenfone 3. Stay put for more news and features on this smartphone as we have a lot in store for you guys. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to our channel for more content like this one. This is Armand for ManilaShaker.com and Maboy Manila.